wasn't necessarily the wrong choice. But then they'd look to either outsource an SLA or you know run their FTM machine or something else. When they got time to kind of prototype that final design, they want to plug into a system that will function with the rest of the system. Yeah, primarily prototypes. We're focusing on uh, that part of the design process. Uh, it can be used for manufacturing processes um, if the material really works for that. Um, the focus right now for us is to basically say you can get an injection molding, you know, like a part. Um, this is an example of the output. That's nice. Yeah. Um, so you'll get this out of that machine. So that, if you want that to be your final part, you can of course use it kind of as in a manufacturing setup. But what we see a lot of demand for is um, just prototyping this. I'm going to injection mold this eventually, but I need a dozen of them to do my prototype for me. Uh, my kind of final stage evaluation of this design before I do that commit to tooling where I'm going to make that design. Sure. Yeah, so we have the um, statistics here. Um, we have our kind of complete spec chart. The bottom line is this material uh, is going to be very similar to an injection of ABS plastic. Um, so you're going to have strength characteristics of 60 megapascals.